Hey guys, before we start today's episode, I wanted to call out an insensitive comment I made to Rainy last episode about biological clocks. It was inappropriate. Uh, it's narrow-minded, exclusionary, really uh, not something something I feel really bad about and uh, not appropriate for a male boss to say to a, anyone, but especially a female employee. Um, thank you for everyone who called it out in the YouTube comments. I read them all and I, I feel awful. Um, I feel like I've um, let you down and offended you. And um, I've spoken with Rainy and apologized to her and cleared things up. But I also want to say I'm sorry to you, you the listeners. Uh, I'll do better. So, thanks for listening and enjoy the show. It's a pre-recorded episode. Ramble. We're going. What's up? The episode. What can I do for you, Miles? Um, we are currently... You need something? Mm, uh, currently recording. I am... Mm? The cold brew really is running through me quickly. You know, I couldn't find my tea. You couldn't find your tea? No. Oh, you know, I was going to get one of those little espresso drinks. Do we have them now here? Jack just put a whole new one in the fridge. Should we go? Should we take this show live? Yeah. Let me go voice memos. No, absolutely. Here, Ned, call. Okay, Are we going to go on an adventure? Yeah. So I actually did want to do this today. Oh. And I'm glad you guys brought this up. Okay. So I can... Call, <laughs> call this Oh, are number. we recording? Yeah, we're recording. Here. Okay, well, welcome to the yeah, tripod. Call this number. I'll bleep it out. So to be clear, we're going to call in. Yeah, there you go. And now and we're narrate gonna... what's happening uh, around. Okay, so Ned. Oh, wow, wow. It's, all right, it's gonna all right so here. Ned's going live. I'm walking out the door. Yeah, Ned's going live into the uh, office. There is a lot. I'll take speaker off. There's a lot going on. There's, uh, there's just recipe items everywhere we're calling to- into the show we have ned fulmer ned welcome uh, so great to have you where are you calling from bud um i'm from i'm from uh, uh, los oh. angeles california that's cool ned. the try guys office now ned uh can you w- w- describe the scene out there um hey jack how's it going what are, what are you what are you working on uh, currently working on a shoot um, where we're heading to Jolly Bee and uh, having some some chicken. That's wow. great. Thanks, All right. Jack. That's cool. Now, Zach- oh my gosh, Chris Reinecker is in the office today. Chris How's Reinecker's going, here. Oh, I'm on the tripod currently. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey guys. Hey, how's it going, Chris? We are live in the studio and we've got you out there. <laughs> how's it going out in the office? It's beautiful. I, Ned is also talking my other word in my other ears, saying something about chicken wars. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't hear him on the thing. So, Zach, uh, over to you. Well, Chris, I hear that you love chicken. Care to comment? I don't know who is spreading these slanderous lies about me, <laughs> but I need to set the record straight. Yeah, mm. I, I do. Okay. Okay. That's good. So yeah. if anybody says I don't, then that's a slanderous lie that's been going around. Mm-hmm. People are saying that. I'm vegetarian. No. Now, what's the mood out there in the office, Chris? I, I think it's, it's tense. It's tense. No, that's, not, that's not really true. Um, I'd say the mood, there's kind of like a chill, like kickback mood in one spot. But then there's also some people got eyes glued to monitors. <laughs> there's a little bit of social media going on. Where is, um, there's a little bit of texting while editing going on. What happened to Ned? Yeah, Ned was our reporter live on the scene out there, and we sort of don't know. I'm going to be honest, Ned gave me the phone and, and left. I don't <laughs> what? Know where he went. what? That is psycho. Okay. Here, he's Zach. I'm always listening. He's Zach. He said he's and always Chris, listening. And Chris, you're welcome in the studio if you want to cop, pop in and say hey. That's true. Oh, you're currently in the <laughs> studio, like right there? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Ned is our reporter live in the field in the office. <laughs> Please. But in the, but out here, you guys are. Yeah, oh, we're currently. Yeah. Oh, this is. I thought you guys were in New York City for some reason. <laughs> no, we're right here. We're right yeah, here. we're right here. You know, here, maybe pass the phone back to Ned. You pass the phone back to Ned. He just took it and ran away. And then you come in here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Chris, you come in. Chris, come in. But leave the phone out leave there. Leave the phone out there. Okay, okay. Oh, why are people so incompetent? Come on in. Ned, stay in the field. Okay, so go Welcome. sit right there. I'm out to the, the studio. Put those headphones on. I want a coffee beverage. Any headphones you want, my man. Is this on, though? Yeah, this is on. 
Was there a second request for a coffee beverage? Yeah, if you could get us a coffee, <laughs> you bring us a cold. I, you know, they're okay. So they're rearranging the office right now to prep for without a recipe. <laughs> Ned, someone moved my tea, my beautiful Zadico Tico. If you find it, I would really love a tea. Yeah, I saw that too. Somebody moved my cookbook that I very carefully put there for natural product placement. Now, Chris Reinecker in the studio. I love, I'm a big fan of this segment of the podcast. <laughs> so. Care to comment, Chris, on the chaos that is brewing in the office. You know, I feel like it's not even my company right now. Yeah. Yeah, it, there's a lot of tables. It feels kind of like Amazon at the beginning. Whoa. I was, the, I was on the ground. That's a great point. We don't. We do not let our employees pee. <laughs> Devin, do you want to be on the podcast? Real quick? <laughs> oh, we just All right, uh, recruiting is, uh, Devin, people. Our newly hired finance manager. How's it going, Devin? Pretty good. What's up, Tripod? <laughs> hey, how's it going, Devin? How's it going out there in the field? We're in the studio, just trying to get a live read on the situation in the office. Um, it's very exciting. You know, <laughs> lots of stuff going on. Wow. Have you met Chris? Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing Ned great. wants oh, me sure. to tell you um, how I submitted my resume. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Because I just started a couple days ago. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I had been drinking a couple glasses of wine and decided, <laughs> you know, now is the time I should email my resume to Ned. Yes. And I, I did that. You had Ned's and then personal they email. Back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how, did, wow. how did you find Ned's personal email? Uh, LinkedIn. Was this a, a cold so, cold call or, or how did that go down? Exactly. So hot tip for anyone that wants to work here. Wow. You really? find Ned's email on LinkedIn. Oh, Ned, no. Ned is the uh, most LinkedIn of all you guys. Oh, yeah. Big He's time. like the CEO of LinkedIn. I could totally if, see him if, having if, a presence on LinkedIn. If we were all different social media apps, Ned would be LinkedIn. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> I think Eugene would be what? Instagram, Instagram I feel like. I yeah. would be Twitter. <laughs> Ned, Ned called. You know, yeah. unpopular opinion. I'm going to go ahead and say Keith's Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I think that's just apt. for the pun. Eugene's Pinterest. Just for the because oh, he's got fame. a big face. Yeah, yeah. Devin, what are your thoughts on Chris Reinecker? Yeah, what are your thoughts? Wait, what? What'd you say? Okay. <laughs> All right, Devin. <laughs> I can't hear you, Devin. Can you? How well can you hear us, Devin? Better now. I can now hear it's better? better. Okay, cool. Now I'm wondering if we can pull a prank on someone in the office and surprise them with I don't know, Chris, Zach, Ryan Seacrest, Ryan, Se- Ryan Seacrest. It, did Ned give you the phone and walk away? <laughs> No, he's sitting uh, still right next to where I was sitting, but talking to Rachel. Oh, God, Ned's taking a meeting right now. What is he talking to Rachel about? <laughs> yeah, can you listen in? Just put the phone I, near them. Devin, you're our spy no idea. now. We'll just, Devin, you're our spy. We'll just you need eavesdrop. To, you need to sneak in, I, but don't let them see you. Yeah, just but put the re- phone on speaker report, near them. Report to us what's happening. Okay, one second. I'm putting it on speaker. He has a real job that we are distracting. A very important <laughs> job. Yeah, I'd say the most important job in the company. Uh, and up next is our producer, Rachel, oh. who's uh, out here. Um, she says we have a meeting job. with Netflix. What's this Netflix meeting? <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, this... Netflix heard your Food Network stars, and so they're jealous. Wow. Chris, care to That's comment? That's how it happens. You know? You... <laughs> <laughs> They, Netflix is like, who are you interested in? Oh, that. Oh, they're hot now. You know. And yeah. Now, now they're you know, hot. They only want what Everyone's they can't have. So hot. You know. Classic, That's right? We've right. been pitching the Netflix for years, and yeah. now they can't have I us, know. and they say, "I want a taste. <laughs> I want a no taste. I want a nipple. I want a nipple. Oh, what? What's food, the pun? Food Network. Huh? Food Network has you. Huh? Taste. Huh? <laughs> Now, huh? Rachel, what's the mood out there in the office? <laughs> I don't. I feel like you're trolling me. No, right Rachel, now. we're recording in this studio right now. You're our no, live. Rachel, don't, 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 don't give off the phone. You're a live field reporter in this on the scene. Okay, it is war out here, guys. It is war. We need more men in the trenches. Get out here. Get out here now. Mm. Oh my this God. is scary. This is. I'm <laughs> not going to war. I'm a pacifist. <laughs> this is very scary. Yeah. Um. Ned is. Ducking from shrapnel. Oh, we oh my need God. more men. Wow. Oh, God. Jesus. I feel like this is breaking news. Yeah, this I mean, is war, huge. There hasn't been war on American soil in uh, a while. Especially not no, in sunny No, we did war earlier this summer. We're just back 
We're there was back a war this war. summer. There was, yeah. I feel like we're the worst anchor men <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, right. Like so there in the field, and we're like, wait, war? There's, wait, are you there serious? been war in a while. <laughs> are you fucking goofing <laughs> right guys. now? Come on, guys. We have a bad connection. Um, but we would like to sort of see the situation in the post room. I don't know what's going on in there, but we'd like. Uh, okay, yeah. you just want to talk to Will. You think Will's going to say something funny? But yeah, that. Well, I do, or something embarrassing I mean, about it myself. Got, it got really dark there, well, Rachel, with you. So we're trying to light yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to keep people <laughs> on the air you, i'm just thinking about war now <laughs> people are switching to abc <laughs> breathe in with me breathe out <sighs> didn't that feel nice now what if somebody who actually knew what they were doing was leading you in an exercise like this well guess what that's accessible to you right now. Headspace, baby. Maybe you have thoughts running in your heads and endless circles, or maybe the stress of these last year or even the year before have been too much. Well, Headspace is here to help because our thoughts are very confusing, right? And, and But meditation, it doesn't have to be. Headspace is your convenient dose of meditation, mindfulness, and sleep exercises to relieve stress and anxiety and help you get a good night's sleep all in one app. And it's one of the most science-based meditation apps in the world, proving meditation works. So when we were writing the Try Guide, the Try Guys book, we actually had a chapter initially dedicated to meditation and we used the Headspace app for it. And I was using it for a month. I, I really, really do recommend it. I enjoyed it a lot. And for you to get your hands on some Headspace, find your Headspace at headspace.com slash Try Guys and get one month free of their entire meditation library. This is the best Headspace offer available. So go to headspace.com slash Try Guys today. That's headspace.com slash try guys. Hello. Hello. Who's this? <laughs> this is MJ. What's MJ, up? thanks for calling in. What's your question today? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, oh, God. Uh, do you guys have a theme today or just you anything? You are that live I'm on the tripod. You are live. Millions of listeners <laughs> tuning in. Uh, you've been your caller number lucky lucky caller number one hundred. That's right. You're going to Zootopia. <laughs> That's right. Jingle ball is on Whoa. the way. Uh, MJ, what's the situation oh, in the fantastic. post room? And uh, how's it going out there? And what's your question? Uh, it's going good. Um, it's really cold in here. Uh, I actually do have a great question for you guys. Yeah, um, and I know um, where this is going. Uh, so I'm I'm working I'm working at this office, right? Uh, yeah. I, okay. Right now, there's a lot of tension between me and the uh there's a room next door and yes. we share the same thermostat that is correct i'm always tense. freezing uh i'm gonna pause real quick it looks like chris you are being called away oh uh before before mj we're gonna we're gonna get we're right gonna back get to, right that. to your question we're gonna but take an ad break totally first, first what is your question for chris reineker before he leaves oh it's uh how do i how do i uh make the whoever i'm speaking about uh, turn up the thermostat okay. because it's freezing all the time. How do I guilt trip him mm, into doing right. that? So, Chris, I mean, uh, the subtext here is that the post room and this podcast studio share one thermostat. However, this room is toasty and that room is frigid. I'm actually glad that this is brought... Chris, you have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, <laughs> you're shooting and we stole you. Chris, thank you so much okay, for thank joining. You guys, uh, thank, thank you guys. Watch the Wine and Weed podcast. Wine and Weed podcast. Search that. Um, and we got new chicken videos coming pretty soon. All new right. chicken videos coming soon. This episode is fully <laughs> off the rails. MJ. And we've lost Ned. And then we've lost Ned. Ned was supposed to be our field <laughs> reporter. But uh, here's what I'll say, MJ. Now, Keith, uh, excuse me, Zach. Miles, enough from you. MJ, mm -hmm. <laughs> speak, speak your mind. Yeah, speak your piece. Miles, enough. Speak my piece. <laughs> Should I give you like an iMessage or something? I feel bad when yeah. you... Make me leave the thermostat at 60, mm. 60, not 63, 70, 73. And that's way too cold for me. It's freezing in here. The wait, 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 wait. We're whoa, being joined whoa, whoa. by our live studio reporter, uh, uh, other, Randy other camera, other camera. Randy Toll here. Real quick before Randy jumps in. I'm sorry. You, 73? 74. Is so cold. No, okay, but it, that you're going thing. to get TMJ? Excuse me. Excuse me. But you don't understand. Your Honor, Randy? <laughs> so cold in here. Rainy and I uh, would like to speak about All this. Alright, uh, that escalated quickly. No, 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 Things are heating up in here. Now, <laughs> I'd like to first explain. There, okay, somehow when you guys built this office, you guys built it by hand. Don't put this on me. This is on you, <laughs> brother. <laughs> so the thermostat's in post. The The vents are in here, post, and the uh, storage room. So in post, 
Okay. In post is where heat and cold is decided. Uh In here, it heats up, baby. We got hot lights. We got hot people. Hot people. It's getting hot in here. Now, Rainy Toll. Rainy Toll. uh, Joining the podcast. Rainy, you are sitting in here with Miles. Uh, get that pod, that mic right up to to your mouth. What is your thought on the temperature situation? Well, I'm fascinated that MJ is cold because I thought we were cold because MJ was hot or MJ and Will were hot. So I thought it was freezing in here because the other. You place- think it's cold now? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm boiling hot. Ra- Rainy, you're <laughs> okay, saying it is this cold. This is Judas. <laughs> You are saying it is cold in this room? Jacques! I am astounded by Rainy. I thought Rainy was going to fully be like, it's too hot in here. I was hot when the AC was broken, but since then I've been like, should yeah. I wear pants? But it's boiling outside. Maybe I so need I a personal to- air conditioning. Now, Miles, <laughs> I do notice that you are wearing thick jeans and a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's are correct. Those wool socks? Uh, they're not wool, but I do. I am not dressed for. I prefer it to be ice cold. MJ thoughts. Uh, normally, I like it to be ice cold, but I live in LA, and when I moved out here, I mm. left all my warm clothing at home, so That's I have fair. no protection. I wear warm clothes now to work, and then I'm sweating outside. So mm. it's, it's the best and then I can do. Does your does your sweat freeze? When you come in, um, oh shit! When I come in here, yeah, um, leading the witness. Why are you asking? That's a particular <laughs> question. <laughs> leading the witness, does your sweat freeze? <laughs> Objection! I say. <laughs> I like that Ned came back and we said, "Get the fuck out of here, Ned." <laughs> is Will there? Is Will in post right now? Will is here with me. If you like. To okay, we'd like him. to get Will's thoughts okay. on the air conditioning situation because I'm realizing currently sure. that I am the problem. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. Welcome to the tripod. What is your hey. question? What is my question? Uh, let's see. What is my question? Um, God. This is fun. Yes. Um, I don't know. I, listen, I, I'm trying to do work right hey, now. Hey, well, I, I, I'm going to cut you off. So we actually were just talking about the air conditioning situation, and yeah. I'm currently finding uh-huh. out live on the show that Ray's cold. <laughs> Uh, what is your, your feelings about the temperature over where you are? And look, I'm sweating. You can see my belly sweat. Kind yeah, of Miles through sweats shirt. through his belly. Yeah. Well, so, okay. What can we compromise? Can I get you to turn it to 74? Uh, could you get? Yeah, it is at 74. Okay. And are we comfortable now or are you guys cold? Well, it's not blowing anymore, so I feel okay. You know it's what? Really actually, only when it's actively blowing. So we did realize that one of the things we can do is diffuse because they're right under the vent, and we're sort of right under the vent, and mm-hmm. we can diffuse that a little bit as well. But it's not the actual air yeah. temperature; it's the blowing. It's the what's it called the wind chill. The wind chill. Yeah, yeah. And I think I'm yeah, I wouldn't to call the it the wind chill. <laughs> <laughs> I will say in the Try Guys office, uh, in our executive suite, uh-huh. the vent is right over Keith, and yeah. when you sit underneath that, yeah, it is torrential. Yeah, it is just yeah, and unbelievable. And what other whole editing room is vents, and you're everyone's underneath them all the time. So, but Nick said we could close them. Maybe we could so. maybe half close them. Yeah. And Zach, yeah. I was wondering what other problems you have with your big giant office. Care to comment? Yeah, um, I would say sometimes <laughs> it's so big that I just feel like a little baby boy. Yeah, you're like a little toddler mm-hmm. guy. But isn't that your dream? Don't you just want to be a baby? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard you talk about that like a lot of times. <laughs> All right, listen, Rainy. I have to do like a remote call right now. Can you so give the, okay, you are up. doing a remote call. We, didn't, we need another <laughs> yeah. field report. No, I'm about to. All right, so pass I'm the phone to. off to someone I'm else. I'm back to Ned. Okay, okay. back to Ned. Ugh. And we're back. <laughs> I forgot what I walked out of the studio for. Coffee, Ned. The coffee, Ned. We need more cold brew. Oh, right, the coffee. And oh, my tea. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me get and that. And my tea. Gosh, I'm surrounded by cinnamon sticks and... Yeast and you... panko and bugs. I think somebody's making something with bugs this season. What have you been doing, That's a Ned, spoiler. for the last yeah. twenty minutes? Uh, you know, I was just uh, <laughs> patiently waiting, just seeing if it was my turn to, you know, you know, deliver a funny quip or like a maybe hilarious bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you know, there is there are no small parts, only <laughs> small actors, and mm-hmm. I am one, and I am back. Ned's back in the studio, and he brought me a nitro oh. cold brew. Rainy, th- a big shout out to Rainy. Rainy, way to go, studio reporter Rainy. 
Wow. Well, that was thrilling. Fuck. I uh, also I had to uh, put tape over the logo here because, oh, because you aren't allowed to know what type of espresso drink I'm drinking. That's and right. um, where's my tea? You asked for tea? Yeah. When? Just now. Right, I am so sorry. To. I'm going to have to call back. You know what? I'll call back in. I'll call, I'll call back in. All right. Uh, I feel like I let you down. Miles Zach. is going. I thought you were all okay. good. I thought you were all set with the tea. No, I couldn't find it. Someone moved my tea. All right. uh, I'm recording live from the refrigerator out here. Now, Zach, oh, what this kind is of tea hilarious. are you looking for? Now, I'm looking for Zadico Tico, Zach's breakfast. Mm. Yum. Yum, yum. Now, the counters are looking pretty clean. I, I think know. Yeah, they've kind of been moved around. And we're looking for Zadico winter breakfast. Oh, that when you were saying for me to look for your merch... You actually wanted to consume it. I want my tea. Oh, dang. I only looked like a... I gave a very cursory glance and now, didn't find it. Now, Miles, right. Miles Bonsignore, thank you so much for calling in. What's your question for us? I'm wondering, um, you know, uh, where to find your tea out here. That's what I'm fucking I saying. I would check in our Try Guys office. What, what sort of vibe are you picking up out there, Miles? Do people seem like, you know... <laughs> Happy? <laughs> Do people seem happy out here? You have permission, Miles, to go into the executive office. I know you're not allowed normally mm. to step foot in there, but yeah. you know what? Today, okay. you can you can okay. go in and pretend to be us. So step on in there, see if you can find my tea. Well, I do come in here sort of after hours to kind of um, act like you guys and have a power thing. But um, so I'm looking around and I don't see any tea, Zach. There are a lot of clothes. Your office is a total mess out here. Yeah, you yeah, that was, that was my fault. You see, what ha happened was I was making all these TikToks and I kind of I kind of bulk it together. Like I'm not an everyday TikTok type of guy. It's not kind of part of my rhythm. So I have mm -hmm. a day that's like TikTok day when I'm not doing anything else and I just try and film like 20 of them. Hmm. And something came up and I only, I a lot of them were half finished. And so I left the clothes there to pick it up today. And now I'm realizing the office is a mess and it won't match. And now I don't know what to do. Um, I did open a box that I assumed there was going to be donuts in because it was a donut brand, but there's just t-shirts in there. And that was disappointing. That's heavily disappointing. Same thing happened yeah. to me about 10 minutes ago. Ned, for your TikToks, did it not consider uh, keeping the same outfit for every single TikTok? And then you could be that guy. You know, there's like the cardigan guy. Yeah. You could be the stained shirt guy. I should have. You know, we were doing like date night TikToks, mm. you know, because of my cookbook, the date night cookbook coming out September 28th, getting pretty soon, date night cookbook.com. But I was, you know, I wanted to do those like cool, like outfit transformation ones. You know the one where you throw the clothes on the ground and then become a thing? I do. We are work. recording live um, with Alexandria in the field. Alexandria, do you know what happened to Zach's tea? Is it missing? We can't seem <laughs> to find it. We're not sure. I have a feeling it's gone because we probably cleared the kitchen for whatever. What do you wait, mean? What do you mean you whoa, whoa, cleared whoa. the kitchen? What do you mean it's gone? That was gone. my only <laughs> cookbook. Wait, hang on. Guys, I'm being led to tea. I'm being led to the tea out here. <gasps> oh, my God. Thank yep. you so much. Oh, where was okay. it? Is my cookbook there, too? I secured the tea. I'm not bringing your cookbook. I want the cookbook. <laughs> and we're back. Miles, you motherfucker. That, is the, that is the wrong flavor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I think most of the other flavors are gone. No, right, that Zach. is the herbal flavor. Yeah, oh, well, I think the I other need flavors caffeine. are gone. Zach, call in. We, we, need, Zach, we need a specialist <laughs> out there. Zach. It's your turn to go out into the field. And also, please bring me back my cookbook. God damn Why it. Why do you need your cookbook in the studio? I just want to hold it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> He wants a plug. Are we losing <laughs> losing juice on this bit? Uh, possibly, <laughs> but uh, it was really good for the first half. Yeah, I don't I, know how we're gonna. That was that my energy. first time hearing what it sounded like, and it was pretty interesting. Pretty fun. Pretty yeah. fun. I wanted fun. to hear more. I thought it'd be fun if we sent people to like I don't know, like with a microphone to interview people on Hollywood Boulevard or something for the pod. We could do that. That would be interesting. Could I just you? drive to Costco. <laughs> <laughs> you can get on the phone and drive anywhere. <laughs>
<laughs> live field. Honestly, if there's breaking news in LA ever, we should definitely <laughs> send people down wherever. How much is. time is left in this episode? We are at 27 <laughs> minutes. So mm. about oh, a little over that. Over half. half. Yeah, over half. Um, but I have some. What did you guys want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'm going to need another donut. For yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. shit. There's donuts here? Yeah. This any, is the any, first time it felt like we were recording the podcast <laughs> for nobody. We're like children. Any, any All those, right. Any I'm uh, eating a Boston cream donut here. And what does that taste like, Ned? Sweet. Now what, Creamy. Now, what makes the cream Boston? I've never known that. Mm. I snagged a jelly. Maybe it's because Dunkin' Donuts is from Boston. Mm. Is that right? Is that a true fact? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> New England. Donuts. But I did. Uh, I have a jelly donut here. And um, oh, also, this isn't Dunkin' Donuts. Whoops. No, it's Mrs. Donut, local donut shop. Not really local. Let's talk about your butt. Is it clean? But is it clean enough where you would take off your pants and sit right where you are right now and be cool with that? And the way to do this is with a Tushy, the modern bidet that attaches directly to your toilet in under 10 minutes. Tushy is the modern bidet for people who poop. Just poop, wash, and pat dry. Here are some of these beautiful features of the Tushy bidet. You're gonna wash your bum with water for a better clean than toilet paper. Washing with water is less irritating and more soothing for your bee hole, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to install. It attaches to the toilet in under 10 minutes. No electricity or plumbing needed. And using a Tushy Bidet reduces your toilet paper use by 80%, saving you money and saving the earth, baby. Tushy has a full product line to help make the restroom the best room, including the Tushy Ottoman, the sleekest toilet stool designed to help you boop at 100%, 100% of the time. Pretty dope. So start washing with a Tushy Bidet for a better clean. Go to hellotushy.com slash tryguys to get 10% off plus free shipping. That's right, free shipping. This is a special offer for our listeners at hellotushy.com slash tryguys for 10% off. After you buy and install your tushy, show it off. Tag them on Instagram at hellotushy. How do you guys feel about jelly donuts? Not a fan. I don't like them typically because you can compare a jelly donut to a cream filled donut. Always better. I'm going to tell you what. I don't like any filling in my donut. I don't want it. To, I don't want it to squirt on me. I kind of like the squirt. I'm going to take that and put it on the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me give you the pro option. Well, just so we have both. I want it to squirt on me. <laughs> now you can use. See, I just saw what happened to Miles. Gel, a glob of jelly just fell down. And now are your hands sticky, sir? Really sticky. Yeah. Boston cream pie was created by Chef. Boyardee. M. Sanzian at Boston's Parker House Hotel in 1856. It's vanilla flavored custard sandwich between two layers of sponge cake and topped with a clock chocolate glaze. It's been popular in Massachusetts since its creation. What are your thoughts on SpaghettiOs? Huh. Uh, what? SpaghettiOs? SpaghettiOs. My mom never allowed it. Well, but she not <laughs> no allowed it. No son of mine will spell <laughs> with his she, pasta. Know, she wanted like mm. to, get, to get the, the good stuff. Tipo, tipo cero, cero. Tipo cero, cero. Parmigiano, Reggiano. How do you guys feel about meatloaf? I was having sort of a big discussion about meatloaf in my house with my fiance yesterday. The uh, singer? No. Or the, the oh food? my God, Paradise by the Dashboard Light? Uh, no. People don't like meatloaf, and I don't get it. I don't yeah, understand. he's got a great discography. That's enough. Okay, good <laughs> Ain't no doubt about it. He was in Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> so I. And he was also in Spice World. So, and he was also in no, Tenacious D no, 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 and ahead. The Pick of Destiny. Go ahead. And <laughs> I think he's really talented. Hey, go ahead. Do have Paradise a beef with this Boston cream because I've had about 10 bites, no cream yet. I see you're, I mean, ten, if that's 10 bites, you weren't sucking on the <laughs> donut. That is a tiny bite. All right, maybe that is five. Halfway maybe through five. With maybe ten five. Bites. Ned nibbles like a little baby bird. Yeah, well, his mouth. That was really intimate to watch him <laughs> squirt the cream into his mouth. Have you ever sucked down a donut? Yeah, I have. You try guys suck their own donuts. What do you guys think about this double <laughs> double glasses look I'm doing? One biter. One biter. Yeah. Krispy Kreme one biter. I don't. I don't. I don't see it as two glasses. <laughs> All I see is the green. Sick. They uh. The normal frames blend into your face. I mean, I think that's good. They sort of remind me of, um, uh, yeah, the Uncut Gems look. 
Oh, I love Uncut Gems. I showed it to my family and they were not fans. Really? Yeah, they I, were all stressed and they yelled at me for showing it to I them. I mean, it's very stressful. But they just like didn't even engage. So like yeah. that was bad. Aww. You know what I saw? Tenet. I only watched about half of it. The movie's confusing as fuck, yeah, man. It was like still, not it's, my well, I But like there's a way to do it that's not too thinking. Inception. Right? I actually feel like is like an unthinky thinky film. Yeah. It's Inception fun. is the movie that makes people think that they've had an intellectual discussion. Which is what I want. I but want a movie to just, tell me I'm yeah, smart. Just an action time. Yeah. And by the way, big fan. It's a it. good fun original IP action movie, but yeah. you're not smart for watching. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, that's a good point. <laughs> that is like I, I love the movie, yeah. but I despise people who think that it is you know a ten <laughs> are we talking about tenet or inception? No, well inception I think is better than in tenet, which is like <laughs> I thought Inception was great. Yeah. A, a tenet was very visually impressive yeah I guess, but yeah. very hard to follow i watched it twice and the second time with <laughs> subtitles it's still i'm um, glued in both times i'm still like what? it makes <laughs> it's so it was like two very serious people talking about something that's not real you guys see click with adam sandler <laughs> with adam sandler you mean yeah. do you mean the 2005 adam sandler movie yes. you know zach i did and sometimes when i'm uh playing with a toddler oh. and i'm kind of like uh, you know, maybe a little over it because yeah. we've done the same thing like 25 times. Put the block on the, yeah. I think about that movie mm -hmm. and I think, you know what? Sometimes these moments, oh. you'll look back and treasure them. Yeah. So don't mentally fast forward. Mm. Just try and really engage with the block building. Yeah. And then uh, usually it works out great because, you know, when I'm more engaged, Coming up with like pretend dragons, who knows what? Pretend that, dragons. Tell oh yeah. me more, Daddy. Well, I mean, you know, mm. if you're playing with a three year old, you can come up with all sorts of imaginative fun. If I told you, oh, there was a dragon in the room, you'd be like, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I like playing pretend. But if I tell a three year old that, they're like, blah, it's here. I uh I went over to Ned's on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I it was under the guise of watching football, but really I wanted to play with Wes uh, because I he we, they were supposed to come to a barbecue and and we we didn't overlap. So like I wanted to get some Wes. I I like playing with toddlers. Yeah, people like babies. Like Maggie likes babies. I like toddlers. Yeah. I think babies are larvae. She thinks toddlers are annoying. So we kind of we were mm. ships passing in the night. Uh, but I underestimated just how much playing with a toddler is a full. Full time job. It never ends. Takes a lot of energy. Yeah. So Wes comes home. He was on a walk when I got there, and he comes up to me with a big smile, and he he whispers. He goes, "I have toys in my room. Let me show you." That's amazing. <laughs> he does not have a lisp. Uh, that was in incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to lisp. I'm so sorry. He's actually British. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! I got some toys in my room. <laughs> Hello, Papa. Uh, but what I loved so so at a certain point, I was like, okay, I'm exhausted i cannot play anymore and ned has a fucking cheat code where he goes hey do you want to play the firehouse game oh yeah <laughs> you know because i got my my hits right yeah, i got my hits. favorites yeah if he's too rambunctious and you need to rest a little bit we'll play this firehouse game oh here's the premise you're a firefighter yeah sleeping in your bed middle of the night so we all lay down on the couch and we go <laughs> that you get a good 10, 20 seconds of that. Yeah, it's good. And by the way, and 10, then, 20 seconds of quiet. That's a lot. That's that a is, lot. Like, that that, is that can really <laughs> reset your, you know, engine, like get get your fuel back. Yeah. And then, of course, the fire alarm goes off. You rush to the fire. You blow it out. But you come Wes back and do it again. rushes around. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, you just wait there. Sometimes, and you just point to what's on fire. Sometimes <laughs> I run with him. But yeah, we, we will often have it be like, where's the fire, daddy? It's on the other side of the house. Where's the fire, daddy? Where's the fire, daddy? <laughs> okay. Welcome back to Where's the Fire, <laughs> Daddy, where we tell you the hottest shit that happened. <laughs> so we have one question to ask you. Where's the fire, daddy? <laughs> Today's fire is Lil Nas X. Mm. He's so hot right now. Daddy yeah. alert. His yeah. Met Gala outfit, mm -hmm. stunning. His new album, nothing but hits. I like Lil Nas X a lot. Yeah. I think he's cool. Yeah, you he's do. cool. I really like the, the Met Gala outfit. Yeah, it was dope. I All feel like it's hard for, for men to, you know, cause such of a, a stir, you know? Yep. Yeah. I think his was sort my favorite. Sort of like, here's a different type of tuxedo. Mm-hmm. But oh my God, it was Gaga-esque. 
Dare I say it? You see James Corden's tux? No. It was black. There you go. That's cool. <laughs> uh, I think I told you guys this maybe, but you know how like people were making fun of James Corden for doing a musical in the in the street. Yeah, your your fiance was there. My fiance drove through it, and she was really worried that people were gonna. She signed a release to be like, I'll be in the thing, and then she found out people were hating on it, and she was like, I'm really worried I'm gonna be canceled for enjoying, oh, no. enjoying this in the video. She's in it for like 0.5 seconds because they got a shot of her. There's smiling. a shot of her in the in her car going like, mm, like loving dancing, it. loving it. Yeah, mm. I would be the real i used to live mm. right there like i drove through that intersection on my way to work yeah. every single day mm -hmm. and not once was i stopped it's like what zach was saying last week about hating joy you know that's right maybe that was dumb i have no idea what you're talking about but uh, if so, i was driving down the street and there was a spontaneous musical that that would make me smile several weeks ago now what if it <laughs> several was, weeks ago oh yeah <laughs> now what if this something was james corden in a mouse suit thrusting his crotch at you so that you could see the bulge of his <laughs> balls is bouncing that, through his mouse costume. Is that what it was? Yeah. yeah you can oh, see I, I like that a lot less. Gawk and balls. But Singing, let's get loud. Let's get loud. I'm going to give a little shout out. Wow. Gus Johnson, a YouTuber who Love I do not that. know personally. He's cool. Super duper funny. And he has one video where he's pretending to be James Corden still at the crosswalk. And it made me laugh so fucking hard he's so funny it's it's like all of his videos are a minute or some of them are like 15 seconds yeah they're great and they're like little little bites of potato mm. chips and it is the hardest i've laughed at a youtube video in so long we all care about our feet you know sneakers are like big nowadays back when we were kids it like didn't really matter that much but sneakers matter what you wear matters not only in the aesthetics but also in the feeling Rafi's is now selling men's sneakers and men's driving loafers even more big news they just launched premium merino wool shoes for fall merino wool is nature's perfect material soft comfortable machine washable and sustainable and merino wool is available in cool colors and classic styles you'll want to wear everywhere. And if that wasn't fully enough, Rothy's just launched their first ever collection of accessories for men. Wallets, carry bags, card cases. Rothy's has all your everyday carry essentials. No more worrying about keeping your wallet clean after weeks of wear. Rothy's wallets are fully machine washable too. Pretty dope. Uh, we've uh, we, a lot of us have been rocking our Rothy's. I love how, how comfortable they are. The truly the merino wool, it feels great. I'm very happy with my pair. You should get yours as well. And to do that, to help welcome fall season in style, Rothy's is doing something special. That's right, they gave us the chance to share this super rare opportunity with our listeners for a limited time. So right now, you can get 20% off your first purchase at Rothy's.com/tryguys. That's R-O-T-H-Y-S.com/tryguys. Just head to Rothy's.com/tryguys to find your new favorites today. He he has a podcast, I think, too. Good for him. We should collab. We should have him on. Yeah. Should we make shorter okay, videos? Okay, I would love that. <laughs> huh? Should we make shorter videos? His videos are a minute. It are like less. It's so crazy. His one that has it's like, like 17 thing? million views and it's um like it's like the scene in a movie where somebody cocks a shotgun and it's just him like cocking the shotgun a lot. Of, like get out of my property, like cocking in different ways. And it's so fucking funny. And it's like a minute long. It's just great ideas. I, I like making long videos because it's kind of like a full yeah. episode. You know, there's right. kind of a beginning, middle end. there's a full arc. You settle in to watch it. I was talking to Keith the other day. I'm a I'm in. I think I'm nearing the let's burn it all down phase of my creative life. Mm. <laughs> I'm ready to wow. take. I mean, I'm, with those glasses alone, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to try some weird shit. I want to release a video that just like the title is Macarena, maybe. And you're like, what is that about? <laughs> is it I got Macarena? It. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, <That's so> <laughs> you know, like I think we should just start releasing some real weird shit. Yeah, Grease uh, Boy. Grease boy, I, you know what, Miles? I think that's legitimately a good idea. <laughs> I think it. I'm yeah. green lighting it right here, right now. I think I told you guys this one when I worked at Buzzfeed. I had two. The reason it came about is because I did a video about fried food. <laughs> Keith was in it, and I had two jugs of grease left over oh, from the wow. shoot under my desk for the whole time I worked there. For people, you got fired twice for pitching yeah. that idea two <laughs> yeah. separately times. For people who are perhaps not familiar with Catch the Grease Boy, <clears throat> can you yeah. please? Uh, all right, Miles. <clears throat> here's, welcome to Shark Tank. Yes. Hi, sharks. <laughs> Tell us your idea. Grease. Everybody uses lightning. it. Lightning. That's nice. Uh, 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 go grease lightning. The Is idea, that what they do on shark? I don't know. That. <clears throat> people Anyways. love grease and people love cash. My idea is this. Picture a celebrity zeitgeist event 
a viral load being dumped into your receptacle. All right. A world in which everyone participates with the same social language, and that language is, can you catch the grease boy? <laughs> Picture it on headlines, on newspapers, <laughs> etc. We put out an ad <laughs> in the LA Times that says, can you catch the grease boy? And we say, you know, November 10th at Venice Beach. The Grease Boy, a greased man, me, in rollerblades <laughs> will be rollerblading through the Venice Pier. And if you catch him and tackle him and pin him down for 30 seconds, mm. you get $10,000. Wow. And everybody is participating. People are signs. Where's the Grease Boy? Airplanes flying by with banners that say, can you catch the Grease Boy? And then at one point, I get the grease. There's a motorboat waiting, and I'm rollerblading, and I run, and I jump in the boat, and it's going, and it's a, a knockdown drag out race through the city where I'm a greased pig. Do you wow. think that you are particularly hard to catch? I think if I was covered in grease, mm. that I would be challenging to pin. I think you're probably one of the easiest people to pin Because I'm big? Yeah. But if I was covered in grease. It, well, everyone would be harder. But can you imagine like someone who's like, Fast, fast. Like a wrestler, kind of short and like oh. quick and wiry yeah. and strong. Will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need a child covered in grease. Well, yeah, mm. it's complicated, but an we could do it. Athletic child. You know, I think yeah. if we had a hundred million dollars, that could be national news. Or we if, also do. If we it's like a hundred million dollar prize. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Decoy grease boys too. So you release me, but you also release like a couple decoy greasers that are that look like the grease boy, but are not the grease boy. And you're boy. wearing a speedo. Yeah. And inside everyone's speedo is a card. That if you have the ace of spades. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, people like, need to not only catch you and pin you down, <laughs> they got to reach inside yeah. and pull out the car. Picture the drone shots. Picture that. Picture them. Me greasy running through the pier. I mean, that's the kind of great content that I'm talking about. Let's burn this motherfucker down to the ground. Mm -hmm. And there, from the ashes, a phoenix started may rise. started as burning your creative content. <laughs> <laughs> then that's you're the talking company. about... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> everything we've been working on for the last six years. Yeah. Do you like a phoenix? What? Phoenixes. The bird. Um, They're cool. Dumbledore. Myth they're mythical? They rise from ashes. Mm -hmm. Right. But they're not real, right? We, do you know that? Oh, I actually don't. That's a good point. I don't think they are real. What? Do you know that? Have you seen them? No. Then how would you know they're not real? Uh, <laughs> you got me there. You're right. You're right. You're right. So. You're right. Do you yeah. believe in love, Ned? Yes. Have you seen it? Wow. Yeah, I think he probably has. Yeah, right? I mean, I mean, I see it in my lover's eyes yeah, exactly. every morning. Exactly. When yeah. she wakes up and says, "Can you please hold the baby?" So Do I you can... believe in magic mm -hmm. in a young girl's heart? I, uh, I'm on board, Zach. You threw a bar mitzvah here and it went great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on board. I did. Can <laughs> you catch the grease boy? Yeah. Uh, is a Phoenix. Here's here's my real? thought. Are you googling that? <laughs> real. Here's my thought. Maybe it's real. January. Not, yeah. Let's just release. Can you re catch the grease boy mm -hmm. four times in a row? Part one. Part two. No, no, no. Oh, same, same video. video. See how each of them does. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Because then people are gonna be like, "Didn't I watch the video?" And then it'll come out again and be like, "Did I watch this video?" Different thumb. And that no. <laughs> I'd like to see this. Well, I told you guys the other day. But it'll I, say new. I don't think we're going to do this, so I can say it. But I want you guys to start from scratch on social media in prosthetics and see if you can virally raise the ranks. Honestly, what if we start from scratch on social media as ourselves? And the video is called, <laughs> How Much Do People Actually Like Us Today? It's <laughs> a tough video and, to make. And it's to see, like, yeah, how many of these people are actually just like, well, they're just not unfollowing <laughs> us. Yeah. Well, you say you lose followers, right? Very regularly. Almost exclusively. <laughs> really funny. Is it possible to have negative followers? I don't know. Miles, I have a question for you. Yeah, I'm answering. You I answer. are running this studio. Sure. It's in tip-top shape. I'm looking up at the lights. Yeah. They are... Lights. There's uh, two color temperatures. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's intentional. Yes. Hmm. Wow. Um, and do you want another reason? What do you think about these new lights? These are These are brand new. I, recently installed. I, I like them. I need to move some of them. Okay. I like them. My favorite part about the new lights, 
those two guys right there casting uh, like gradient shadows on the walls. Oh, I need to get a dimmer. That. Look at what that's doing. I need to get a dimmer, but it does. It, uh, they it helps and it makes it look more dynamic. The one problem is they are not really where I need them to be. These two are, but I need to move one of these to the center, and I need to move these just like. Are we gonna like install shelves and put goofy knickknacks and boops and bops? We are. But what are you waiting come back for, for my bro? honeymoon <laughs> because right now we're packaging all the videos for when I'm gone. Mm. But uh, yeah, we also need to soundproof. We need to yeah, we gotta get a neon sign. We get shelves. I do think I want you guys to put on like a funny wig and be like, "Hey, what's up? It's Edward. I want to be in the next big star." Me putting on a wig? Yeah, calling myself Edward. Put a prosthetic on. Oh, you're saying can I build a social media profile from scratch? From scratch. Mm. Here is the not so secret, <clears throat> if I may. We <laughs> have never actually been good at social media. We no. just benefited from people knowing who we are. Mm. So people ask me, mm. how do you grow an Instagram? F uh, the answer is already be somebody. Mm. When I first came up with the character of Ned in mm. Try Guys, I realized how, how would he become famous? Well, work for some place that already has lots of subscribers. Mm. <laughs> the accent really fell off there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Subscribers. Subscribers. Um, I mean, it's true. It's tough. I, it's like you got to you gotta post every day and you got to follow what seems so, to be working. Am I supposed to be doing that? Posting every day? Is that yeah, the, the we time? all should be, I guess, if we're trying to grow. Depends what you want, Miles. Yeah, it depends on what you want. <laughs> I want to be in the Team 10. <laughs> <laughs> we can make that happen. I uh, The worst one. I'm wondering, like, trying to put myself in the shoes of the audience right now. They either have turned this episode off 10, 40 minutes ago mm. or are mm -hmm. glued to their fucking earbuds saying what could possibly famous? come next because every second yeah. we are doing something let's talk about slip and slide. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> what are things <laughs> that felt safe in the 90s that are dangerous today heroin <laughs> 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 oh wow that's uh would you just have, edgy enough to <laughs> make it into the episode <laughs> did you play on the street as a kid like oh yeah play yeah. hockey on the street for sure football yeah would you let and you would just scream car would, and you'd move to the side would yeah. you let Wes play in the street not in my neighborhood Ooh. yeah i feel like your but streets if we move to the suburbs more yeah yeah. Guys, my people, street is people like people peel down your street. It's fucking it's crazy. Tough. It's <laughs> a very narrow street next to a very large shopping center. Oh, our our ex BuzzFeed producer got uh, her yeah. car totaled. Totaled. I was there. It was parked. It yeah. was parked and somebody totaled it because it weird. was so narrow and they were going too fast. Yeah. Too furious. It's no secret that the internet and the world loves cats. I love cats. I've got two. I love them. There's a cat on Instagram with 4.3 million followers, and that's as much as Dolly Parton. Cats can be kind of choosy. That's why we're excited to partner with Sweet Scoop. Their renewable wheat-based litter gives cat lovers a better choice for their pets, their family, and the environment. You know, you have a lot of choices when you're getting litter, and I think when we look at what we're doing here, right, a cat is pooping and peeing in it, and then it's basically going in the garbage. But what if it was just something that helped it all degrade better and was better for the environment, right? We use this at our house. It's great. I definitely recommend Sweet Scoop. It's just a really great litter option for you. I think you're going to really enjoy it. And for over 25 years, Sweet Scoop has provided a litter that works great without compromising on what matters. It's better for cats. It's better for people. And it's better for the planet. Like clay litter is sourced from strip mining, which has a hugely negative impact on the environment. And Sweet Scoop is made of renewable farmer grown ingredients and is 100% biodegradable. Stuck between litter that works and litter that's pet and planet friendly, Sweet Scoop doesn't make you choose. Go to SweetScoop.com to get a $5 off coupon and find a retailer near you. That's S-W-H-E-A-T scoop.com. Mm. Listen to this. Last night, uh, around like 9, 10 o'clock, helicopters are just ripping circles around my house for mm -hmm. three hours. Sirens nonstop. Maggie yeah. gets on the Citizen app, which is like... Do you know? Do you yeah, know? not really. No. Uh, it's basically social media for narking on your neighbor. <laughs> oh god! Yeah. It, it just no. It's like updates about like man stabbed right. at Ralph's. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Kroger. Uh, man stabbed <laughs> at supermarket. A uh, person robbed at gas station. Uh, 
found poop on the floor or yeah. whatever. And there's people gossiping about like the crime, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, but they scrambled the police signal. Mm-hmm. So like whoever they were chasing couldn't listen in. And so apparently it was a grand theft auto <gasps> and some guy like abandoned the car, jumped 18 feet down something, which sounds like he should have broken his leg, but they had like dogs out looking for him, cops wow. out looking for him, helicopters, Here's my pitch, and then I'm going to continue the story. Uh, defund the police. <laughs> buy people new cars. Yeah. It would be a lot cheaper. Way cheaper. Mm. <laughs> like, sure. Somebody got their car stolen? Yeah. I think that would solve all the problems. It's Someone not. steals a car, buy them a new car. Sure. Don't need fucking all these people working overtime, helicopter. Probably not, yeah. Just rubbing shit. But anyway, last night, so, so like, apparently, like, they're looking everywhere for hours. And Maggie's like, don't go out there. I'm like, I've always got to pee. It's going to be fine. She's yeah. like, don't go out there. I'm like, I'm going to mm. go outside because I don't like him peeing in my backyard. I don't yeah. want him burning holes. I go out to the front and immediately, immediately, there's a man at the end of my street. What? Under, we have, we're, it's a very dark street. There's <laughs> only one stoplight. He is sitting fully silhouetted. So it's like all black like i can't see any detail on his face of his clothes it, he almost looks like the absence of color like he he looks like a demon kim kardashian at the it, Met Gala. a hundred percent it was that look and he's sitting down like velcroing his shoes or like velcroing something around his pants and he looks up at me and bowie just starts barking like crazy he does Uh-oh. not like it like something about this dude and the guy just very slowly rises and turns and walks into the bushes. <laughs> oh my God. You saw a Demogorgon. Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, I go inside. I'm like, Maggie, I think I found him. <laughs> That's crazy. And wow. it was super creepy. And we liked, we made sure every door was locked. And yeah, we tough. stared at the ceiling. And every time we heard a noise, we're like, <gasps> That's so spooky. It was spooky. That happens around my neighborhood too. It feels like, like it, Harry Potter, the way you told it. It yeah. was spooky. It was serious, to say, serious black. <laughs> I asked Maggie this question last night. I'm curious your guys thought. This is mm. before we knew what was going on. Right. Okay, helicopters circling around, spotlight. All of a sudden, you look in your backyard. Mm-hmm. The automatic light goes off. Ooh. You yeah. see a figure running Whoa. towards your door, towards, yeah. your, towards your glass door. And the spotlight you see is searching backyards. And he, he the, the thing, the creature, yeah. bangs against your door, but it's not a man. It's a blue alien. Whoa. And he goes, but it's like like a like a cool, like, not like a demigorgon. It's like a human alien. Fish. And panic on his face. Yeah, it's a fish man. Uh-huh. Yeah. Panic on his face as the spotlight's getting closer. Bangs on the glass. And he goes, help me. Please help me. The light's getting closer. Yeah. What do you do? I let him in. Uh, it all depends on uh, how big his eyes are. You know, this is classic character design 101. You want to make an alien friendly? Give him big, big eyes. eyes. Make him look like a baby. Puffy eyes. You know, make <laughs> oh. him have, you know, cute characteristics. Yeah. You want to make him like <clears throat> scary, evil, you know, lots of teeth. Yeah. Kind of smaller <laughs> eyes. Just teeth bursting out in yeah. every direction. So it's, it's just going to depend on what my evolutionary mechanisms are telling me as to whether I should trust this being or not. But the real answer is like, probably not, man. You don't want to get involved with area 51 shit. Well, you have kids, so it's hard because it's like maybe he's a kid eater or something, but I definitely would be like a cab, get the alien in my house, (laughs) (laughs) put him in the fucking basement. I also feel like it's like, I don't know if he's really pleading. I've always wanted to have an alien friend. Yeah, so I would totally. But he ain't going to be your friend for long, man. You're, you don't think so? Oh, no. Y- y'all are all going to get caught by the feds. Ned, you're going to be like, <sighs> you know, debriefed and tortured, and uh, you're going to get memory zapped, and you're not going to remember who you were ever in love. But when the mothership comes, whose side do you want to be on? The uh, side yeah. of the aliens or the side of the, you know, boys in blue? Ned clearly. I don't want to be on the side of any of them. Yeah. Ned clearly never watched Nickelodeon shows. <laughs> growing up yeah. because this E.T. Is, like do you not <laughs> want to be the star of a sitcom I mean you, that would be great you then like go yeah. to work and it's it's like hey we have a new employee Gorzob and then he like whoa and yeah. knocks stuff over Gorzob yeah it'd be pretty fucking be pretty dope cool. but then yeah. like there's a B plot where a secret FBI agents following you everywhere and mm. it's like oh shit Gorzob's in trouble but then he also like I mean if the spotlights are already in my backyard man no they're close 
Oh, okay. they're coming. Okay. And then they pat he you let Glorzov in and well, so what's what am I doing immediately after I let him in? What's the deal? What are we, what are we, what's the fucking plan here? We're gonna like have some tea and then go to my sister's? We couldn't find my tea. Yeah. Yeah. We hide right. Glorzob in the in the closet or something. Feds aren't gonna be knocking down doors, realistically. For alien shit? Nah. Yes. Every movie ever is like they don't the alien department doesn't respect the laws yeah well i think it's like for <laughs> for alien shit though probably not you know how hard it would be to do a cover-up <laughs> these days because oh, yeah. like Social everyone's media. ring app would be going off like there would be so many cameras they have to wipe you're not just talking memories you're talking the cloud yeah baby mm. that's why uh movies have a hacker character <laughs> that's true yeah we're gonna zap all the phones. narratively it just doesn't make sense without one yeah it's too tough this episode has been exhausting. <laughs> exhausting. And we can throw it to the final. I, I just realized. I'm exciting. I just but realized. I went out on an adventure. Well, I just realized that was this episode. I'm like, wow, it? we've lived a lifetime. A thousand oh, yeah. lifetimes. Crazy. Well, if you are thinking about what you would do in a Glorzob esque situation, you may be asking yourself, fuck, man, I don't even know. I need advice. I need advice that'll bring me places, that'll go for distance with miles time. This is Miles giving advice. It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Everyone get ready. Miles Nation. Miles Nation. Go. It's advice that'll go for miles. Miles Nation. Miles Nation. Miles Nation. Have you ever wanted to be sauced? Mm. Have you ever wanted to be a little pebble? <laughs> pebble? A, oh. a Bible? Have you ever wanted to get the pudding? <laughs> Hold the calories, officer. Hold my calories, officer. Leave the calories at the door. I've been snacking on a little snack for babies. Mm. And I haven't been able to turn back. Mm. Applesauce? Bingo, big boy. Yeah. <laughs> I've been sucking down applesauce lately. And boy, does it slurp nice. Doesn't it have a lot of sugar? Not Ta- unsweetened tons. applesauce. Oh. Well, does it? <laughs> I think sweetened has even more. Yeah. Unsweetened apple sauce. Let's check. Na- well, let's check. Let's check. Probably natural sauce from sweetened sauce. sauce. Apple sauce. But I've been having a lot of apple sauce lately, and it is uh, real good, especially if you're a baby. But I've been enjoying it. It's been like a little snack that smiles back. I've found that applesauce and yogurt can approximate the feeling of ice cream mm. if you just love it hard enough. And so I've been slurping down honey-based yog. Uh is As this been, a you, hmm? you, you've this is the second time you've called yogurt yog yeah is that a common slang with kids so. your age in the nation <laughs> <laughs> but yeah how much sugar is in applesauce but i've just found it's a good snack to smile back and it sweetens up your little day i mean it's pretty good you is got it? eight grams of sugar uh-huh. in a pouch okay that's fine eight grams is fine that's, that's fine. fine the pouch Ooh, 36 grams in sweetened yeah, no. Trader Hoes. Ooh, 23 grams and unsweetened yeah. in this one. 20 dr- probably 20 the, the kids' ones are pretty, uh, good, unsweetened. You know, pretty good for you. Yeah, but I just find that you're it's doing it the good. ones for kids, those little pouches? I'm not slurping baby food out of a pouch. I get the uh, not moths. I get the uh, Trader Joe's one, unsweetened applesauce. But I just have been, Dope. and it's also supposedly good for your gut. I don't know about that. Well, I think it's what you're supposed to eat if you're having diarrhea. That's how it started. For oh, me. that's true. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> I don't have diarrhea. Bananas, rice, applesauce, toast. Yeah, brat. That's what you're supposed to do if you. Brat. Tummy, if you, brat, brat. your tummy's messed up. But um, do, yeah. Do you fuck with brat, Zach? You you a brat pack? I've never heard that once in my life. Oh, Are really? you kidding? It's like the first Google. If you diarrhea, what do? Yeah. I when I was a kid and you had a tummy ache, you got Sprite. I, I think that's probably Ooh. Coca-Cola Ooh. Corporation. So. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, I don't know. Spr- what? That's that is Coca Cola. 
No, I know. I'm saying. No, he's, I he's, think they're probably that they put that messaging. In your no, mind. you have like spark, like sparkling soda. Yeah, ginger ale. I've heard guys. Ginger get, ale. I've heard ginger my ale. My people out there in the world, tell you Tommy Trouble, you get the ginger ale or the Sprite. You know what's up. What is this brat bullshit? Was well, it just like if you're vomiting? Tell me again. Bananas. Bananas. Rice. Rice. rice applesauce. Apple applesauce. Toast. Toast. It's all things that are easy for your stomach to digest. Cra- I used to eat crackers when I had tummy I ache. That counts. <laughs> As like a toast. Yeah. I eat crackers. I used for to breakfast. have. I used to go to the nurse non so much mm. as a kid. Mm. You used to go to the grocery store? <laughs> to the nurse. The nurse, oh, he yeah. says. I was because I had tummy troubles and I didn't realize that I had a broken body. Well, mm. we're gonna be talking all about Zach's tummy troubles on the after pod. Hell yeah. Become a triceratops. Support the show at patreon.com slash try guys. Rate us five stars. Yeah. Oh, my Subscribe tummy. to the show. Yeah. And get some Zadico tea at Zadico.com. Gotta sell it. <laughs> Gotta sell it. And my cookbook, the date night cookbook, is coming out. In like two weeks. Ooh, two doggy. weeks. Pre-order it now. You can be one of the first people to get it. And for tripod listeners, oh. you can get a signed <gasps> copy oh. by going. Who signed it? I did. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a special secret. I signed a page too. But go, to my, <laughs> go to my Instagram, Instagram.com slash Nightfomer and click on the link. And that's how you get it. Secret. We'll see you next time. Zach is with the official tripod theme song. Where's the fire, daddy? Where's the fire, daddy? Where's the fire, daddy? Where's the fire, daddy? Dude, that was good. Yeah. Where's the fire, Daddy? Daddy. Until next time. Where's the fire? <laughs> <Stay beautiful. laughs>